गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकल क्लासेस बाय डॉक्टर श्रीनिधि कुमार आचार्य डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड आल्सो प्लीज गिव योर वैल्यूबल कमेंट्स यू कैन आल्सो विजिट माय प्लेलिस्ट इन द प्लेलिस्ट आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड सो फार डिस्कस ऑल टॉपिक्स इन अ वेरी सिस्टमेटिक ऑर्डर यू कैन इवन मेक यूज ऑफ इट्स फॉर द स्टडी पर्पज एनी वे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अप्रोच टू फीवर इन चिल्ड्रन ऑलमोस्ट टेन क्लासेस वेर ओवर सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट about the important questions that have to be asked by the doctor with the parents the first question is about the onset of the fever if onset of the fever is acute and if the onset of the fever is mild then what is the inference that we have seen now we go to the next question so what is this what is the response to antipyretic this is the very important question that you have to ask with the parents most of the time now nowadays when the parents are coming to the doctor they have already given one dose of uh, antipyretic maybe i will take the name of paracetamol because it's very commonly used even the common people and uh, um, everybody okay so they have the paracetamol in their home therefore i am using but it may be any antipyretic any ayurveda antipyretic also okay so now next question that you have to ask to the parent is uh, what is the response to antipyretic drug like paracetamol now why this question is very important that i will explain uh, uh, just a few words about the paracetamol why i am taking this paracetamol as an example because one is most commonly used and so far in this medical world one of the best antipyretic if we have that is paracetamol although the doctors use so many other types of uh, antipyretic drugs nowadays but the the best drug of the millennium we can say as far as antipyretic action is concerned that is paracetamol paracetamol is one of the best drug in fever okay so why because as i told in the beginning actually we don't want to suppress the fever fever is our friend he is not our it is not our enemy okay we don't want to suppress the fever so we want such a drug which will not suppress the fever but which will go into relieve the discomfort caused by the fever and paracetamol is paracetamol is one such drug it will not go into suppress the fever but it will go into relieve the only discomfort which is caused because of fever no because of fever increased temperature child may have so many discomfort okay so that discomfort will be relieved by the paracetamol okay as if paracetamol will not go into suppress the fever or whatever the tissue injury and uh, the immune fight which is going on so it will not interfere there so it will only relieve the fever that means in case of fever the main problem is uh, the hotness of the body okay hot feeling of the body so that has to be that because temperature has to be brought down okay the main issue in case of a fever is a uh, temperature increased temperature santapa deha manasa santapa santapa is the main issue santapa has to be brought down so that will be done by the antipyretic drugs which are used in ayurveda and also the antipyretic drugs like paracetamol the body is fighting against the cause by producing the fever but we want to take away the fighting force so if you use any such drug which will go into suppress the fever then it is a big mistake okay if you are suppressing the fever actually you are helping the pathogen because the process of increase of temperature itself is is one of the prerequisites for the fighting okay otherwise body immune system is not able to fight efficiently with the pathogen if the temperature is increased immune cells will go there nutrients will go there because of increased blood circulation and the fight is possible so otherwise if you are trying to suppress the fever you are helping the pathogen not our body so explain this point to the parents this is very very important because parents are desperately want to suppress the fever they want a fever free state anyway whatever may be the cause fever free state should be there but it is not like that let the fever come down very gradually because fever is helping for us okay so explain the parents that fever is not the problem it is the body ability to fight against the cause okay if the fever is coming means your body is efficiently fighting with the pathogen so higher the fever uh, the body is fighting well if high fever is there your body is fighting well actually okay if it is low fever that suggests that your immune system is not showing much response then you should be worried so why if we should stop okay anyway so this is very important aspect now 
so what is the effect of this uh, uh, antiparotid drug on the fever and how we have to uh, assume so many things <coughs> now if you explain this the fever is our friend fever is our friend don't try to stop it then uh, mostly as all you assume or by this time you you also thought the same thing uh, parents will run away patient will not stay with you they will run away they find another doctor most mostly okay so so reduce the discomfort of the fever you just explain that the drugs are given only to reduce the discomfort caused by the fever not the fever itself fever is our friend okay now the beauty of the paracetamol is it only brings down the discomfort or temperature caused by the fever and not the fever itself but parents actually desperately want to end this fever okay so they will be very happy if there is no fever so ending the fever means helping the pathogen because fever is a protective phenomena you need to explain this to your parents okay few of the parents may go away but the who who remains with you know so they will always be with there so okay so the parents who realize this fact that what you are explaining once they understood very well definitely they every time they will come to you only they go they never go anywhere okay so but unfortunately nowadays what happens is we don't have much time and even we are not much committed okay and the parents are also not get convinced because of which so we are loading so many medications in case of fever actually that much of medication is not required that's the concept of navajura what they where they say very clearly ayurveda says navajura no medic medications are required okay just take care of the body langanam swedanam kalo yavago tiktako rasaha sufficient maintain the nutrients okay maintain the nutrition of the child uh, kala that means give some time factor by time itself the things will go into clear going to be clear okay langana give less med lang less food and as well as easily digestible food swedana induce different types of vaso dilatation so that uh, the temperature will be released just like antiparotic drug so so beautifully explained by ayurveda in the context of navajura okay the same is also applicable nowadays so but unfortunately we don't have time and parents are not convinced parents desperately want a fever free state and even the doctors are not much committed therefore we are loading so much medicine for the baby or for the kid it is actually unnecessary so you explain this to the parents and uh, then uh, rest of the thing is parents wish but you need to explain every time when every time the parents comes to you explain this fact to the parents whether they accept it whether they remain with you or not that's a different issue but you have to explain these things now after antiparotic suppose suppose if you give any antiparotic and if the fever comes down yes this is now very important after antiparotic if the fever comes down that means discomfort of the fever has gone and child start playing now this is commonly seen when the child is having fever child is very dull and you give antiparotic fever comes down again the child start playing isn't it again the child start playing so that means when the child is dull means the child is having more discomfort caused by the fever and when the child again start playing means the discomfort has gone that means your antiparotic remove the discomfort okay so after one or two hours child again start with the fever no mother is again worried she will again change the doctor she will now again change the doctor so therefore i told it's important to explain this fact to the parents previously itself fever will come like this we are only aiming at relieving the discomfort not the fever so fever will come in every 3 hours when the discomfort increases again we will give the antiparotic it relieves the discomfort again the child start playing after some time again fever comes discomfort will be there again we need to give the antiparotic so this actually this fact has to be explained to the parents so what actually this suggest fever is still there isn't it after giving antiparotic fever reduced but again fever start means fever is still there it is not suppressed fight is still going on this is what is required as a doctor this is what is required for us okay now that means fever will completely go only when fight will end 
one thing is very clear okay completely the fever will go only once the fight will end for the efficient fighting what is what is required is increased temperature is required when the fight is on fever will be always there so we are reducing the discomfort of the fever and we are not reducing the fever itself if you are reducing the fever itself suppressing the fever itself that is a big crime actually okay you are helping the pathogen okay so now giving an anti inflammatory drugs or antibiotics uh means unwanted loading of the medicines during this time and uh, it is actually helping the pathogens so to say about paracetamol is the only drug since so many centuries uh, which only reduces the discomfort of the fever and will not touch the fever itself not going to suppress the fever but it only suppress the or reduce the discomfort caused by the fever so beauty of ayurveda is again all the ayurveda drugs acts by removing the discomfort that's the reason what are all the antiparatic drugs which are mentioned in ayurveda so they never suppress the fever they only reduce the discomfort caused by the fever and therefore it clearly says for the first 6 days or 7 days in during the stage of navajwara there is no much medications are required okay if the medications required there is also tikta rasa medicines okay so tikta kashaya sar given so all the ayurveda drugs acts by removing the discomfort of the fever not by suppression of the fever okay so only deha santapa is reduced not the jwara jwara atma lakshana is santapo deha manasa okay the deha manasa and mana santapa that has to be reduced fever should not be suppressed fever will sub- get suppressed sub- uh, subsided by its own time when the fight is over the fever will go into subside when the body wins immune cells win then the fever will go into subside now uh, every infection producing uh, produces a fever uh, as its own hy- uh, every infection producing the fever has got its own hypothalamic set point uh, when the fight is on temperature will rise up to that particular point so if you give medicines also it will reach uh, it will reach that uh, highest point now this is understanding this is very important now if i have got uh, hundreds of infection hundreds of infection has got their own set point of temperature okay virus number 1 virus number 2 virus number 1 it has got the to fight efficiently against a virus number 1 probably the body temperature has to be increased up to 101 to fight against the virus number 10 probably body has to increase its uh, temperature set point maybe up to 103 what i mean to say is each and every infection has got its own set point of temperature so if you give the medication or don't give the medication during the fight that level of temperature will be reached okay that's very important okay many times what happens parents uh, say that um sir we are giving medicines but still the fever is raising it will raise it will raise because every infection has got different set of uh, a hypothalamic set point of temperature okay if you give the medicines also it will going to reach that particular point so parents who are giving paracetamol before the set point is reached now this is a important point sometime the over conscious patients what uh, parents what they will do is uh, so they think that every 3 hourly the fever is coming so i will give the paracetamol or antiparatic priorly so priorly one hour priorly when the child is playing actually that time itself they are giving the paracetamol because their assumption is by one hour again the fever will come but it will not going to work the reason is the fever once it started it will reach its set point of temperature therefore many parents complain we are giving the paracetamol still the, uh, the fever is coming it will come these are the things that you need to uh, convince the Uh, parents so parents who are giving paracetamol before the set point is reached anticipatory level itself so with they complaints usually this complaint so always the rule is always give the antiparatic at the peak of the fever when the child is playing mild fever is there don't go for antiparatic what is should be your criteria hotness or feverishness should not be your criteria uh, discomfort of the child should be your criteria okay so body is just hot don't go for paracetamol or any other antiparatic when the child is little dull it is start feeling discomfort net it is confined to the bed it is little irritative then give then it suggests that 
child has reached the highest point of discomfort and now you give paracetamol now you give paracetamol the fever will come down that means discomfort will come down not fever discomfort will come down so this is a big mistake a common mistake which is done by the parent so many time the child is having fever but still he is playing child is if you keep the thermometer to 102 is there but still child is playing what it suggests although there is fever child is not having discomforts okay fever is a good thing let it come but just worry about the discomfort whether the child is having discomfort no child is playing leave it at one point the child will come and confine to the bed okay then you give the paracetamol because this is the highest point of discomfort <coughs> so once the child become tired and confined to the lab it suggests that temperature has reached the peak set point and now you have to give the paracetamol so then only it will go into work so we need to explain this to the parents otherwise they keep on changing the doctor and the child will be loaded with unwanted medications suppress the fever only if the child is uncomfortable natural course of the fever helps in the diagnosis relieve the discomfort or irritability of the irritability and as well as drowsiness if if any caused by the fever use the paracetamol thick tarasa drugs otherwise in ayurveda if you are talking thick tarasa drugs what i mean to say is don't go for unwanted medications so now usually usually now this is very important take after giving an antipyretic if the fever get relieved okay after getting in an antipyretic if the fever get relieved this usually suggest a fever of viral origin okay you give the paracetamol or antipyretic after one hour the child is relieved of the fever child started playing usually this type of pattern is seen case of viral fever in case of bacterial fever what happens although the fever comes down to some extent from 9, uh, 101 to 99 but fever completely will not be relieved fever is not relieved completely still some amount of the fever will be there and child is confined to the bed child is sick looking or child is sick and the child is not playful so this particular nature is typical nature of a viral fever viral fever give you a paracetamol uh, any antipyretic or like paracetamol the fever will be relieved child start playing but in bacterial fever in parasitic fever or maybe in immunological fever you cannot get this particular path but use of the antipyretic drug should be very very judicious and timely okay so it should be used only when the child start with the discomfort some of the kids may start discomfort uh, uh, within 10 minutes after beginning of the fever and some of the kids may uh, be one or two hours later they can start discomfort so that actually indicates the timing of a antipyretic administration so this is about the second important question that you have to ask in the next class we will go for the third question thank you very much